During her first public appearance as Queen, Queen Mary of Denmark chose a complex dress that concealed several subliminal messages. Shortly after his mother, Queen Margaret Saku, abdicated the throne on Sunday, the Australian-born princess looked stunning in white as she waved to admirers on the balcony of Christiansborg Palace in Copenhagen with her husband, King Frederick X. But from the colour of her dress to her accessories, the 51-year-old's understated yet stylish ensemble was full with subliminal messages. Her decision to accessorise with red jewellery is a tribute to the Danish flag, while her white outfit represents fresh starts, strength and purity. Women from the royal household have historically worn white during coronations as a symbol of renewal and the purity of the crown, according to Dr. Giselle Baston, a royal scholar at Flinders University. This has been observed in the British royal family. In 1953, Queen Elizabeth II, her waiting staff, and every other female in the Abbey all wore white. We witnessed it during King Charles II's coronation as well, she remarked. Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, wore white during the coronation of King Charles II in May of last year. According to Dr. Bastin, Queen Mary chose white in order to give the symbology a modern twist. The focus on the future and the modernity of the new royal Danish court was suggested by Mary's outfit, the expert added, noting that Danish royals are noted for being more understated than British royals. Given White's strong connotation with purity, it's also possible that Mary is subtly implying that Frederick is innocent and that their relationship is intact to others who have conjectured about his supposed affair with Mexican socialite Genevieve Casanova. The fact that white is typically associated with brides walking down the aisle may also be a reference to Mary and Frederick approaching their 20th wedding anniversary in May. Birgit Hallstein, the seamstress who created Mary's famous Ufa Frank wedding gown was responsible for sewing her dress. She loves to reuse and rewear items from her closet, so she's rarely seen in new clothes, but yesterday's festivities were an exception. She looked lovely in a long sleeved white A line midi dress by Danish designer Soren Le Schmidt, which included a mock shawl pattern around the neck. Using Instagram, the dressmaker expressed his appreciation to the Queen for selecting one of his creations for the historic event. He posted a picture of the new King and Queen with the comment, Beyond grateful, thank you for choosing me, Queen Mary of Denmark. Le Schmidt was extremely honoured, happy, proud, and not least grateful to be selected to outfit Mary for the historic occasion, and he told Vogue Scandinavia that the dress is relatively simple. It is very important that Queen Mary wore clothing worthy of the history books as her first official royal attire. I'm really moved, he exclaimed. It is made with an independent waist belt that drapes voluptuously over one shoulder, around the neck, and around the waist. The Queen accessorized her outfit from Søren Le Schmidt with pieces from an exquisite jewellery set covered in rubies. The red and white combo pays a charming homage to the corresponding colours of the Danish flag. Le Schmidt stated, Since Denmark's national colours are red and white, a graphically stunning white dress accessorised with the earrings and a brooch from the ruby set seemed like the right choice. Mary wore two hairpins, earrings, and a brooch on her belt that is part of the ruby perure, which also includes a tiara, necklace, ring, and bracelet. A family treasure, the set was first commissioned in 1804 by Napoleon for the sumptuous crowning of the late Queen of Sweden by an as-yet-unknown goldsmith. When the daughter of the Swedish Queen married the future King Frederick VIII in 1869, they found their way to the Danish royal family and have been in their possession ever since. Since she wed Prince Frederick in 2004, Mary has been the only one to wear the rubies. She last wore them to the palace's New Year's banquet on January 1st.
Her ruby diamonds weren't the only important accessory she had. She pinned Queen Margaret II's royal family order, which has a diamond-framed picture of the monarch suspended from a bow made of white and crimson ribbon beneath her left clavicle. Rather than a state decoration, the brooch is a personal accolade given by the monarch at her discretion. The pin was given to Mary prior to her marriage to Frederick, but she wasn't seen in public with it until 2012. A similar emblem with a picture of their father is worn by Queen Margaret, Princess Benedict, and their sister, Queen Anne Marie of Greece. Mary will be the first, and thus far, only recipient of a new portrait of King Frederick. Frederick's Ordens portrait will be housed in a 200-year-old diamond frame that was gifted to him by Brazilian Empress Amelie.